If you're walking on a shingle beach and you look down, every now and again you'll see that some of the pebbles, particularly if it's limestone or sandstone, have got many small perforations in them, almost like a sieve. If you look more closely, you'll see that they appear to be grouped a bit like an hourglass, that is, the tube which is causing it is U-shaped and has two holes. This is caused by a marine worm known as the bristle worm, Polydora ciliata. It lives by either filter feeding or taking bits of food directly using its palps. Polydora is found in mud and wood and also on the holdfasts, that is the sort of roots of seaweeds. This specific oyster shown in the video hasn't actually been attacked, but on oyster farms they're particularly a problem because they make the small holes which will weaken the shells and also distort them. In the wild, oysters, limpets and other seashells that have the Polydora drilling into it, they don't actually go through into the soft tissues, but they do greatly weaken it. So if they're attacked by something like a crab, they're much more easily broken open. The tube of Polydora is lined with mucus. If a seashell is being drilled into, there's nothing the shell can do to protect itself. However, Polydora has a larval stage, which is able to select when such shells, maybe say periwinkles, are actually large enough for them to start drilling into. So there is some degree of selectivity going on. Although on a small scale, they can certainly weaken the stone, particularly if it's something like limestone or sandstone. How they're not recorded as being a cause of damage to stone structures in marine situations. What you'll also often see on a beach is a number of bivalve shells. One of the shells has a perfectly circular hole cut right through the shell, usually near the hinge. This is caused by the dog whelk, which although it's a mollusk itself, is a carnivorous one. It has a mouth parts that look rather like a chainsaw. And this cuts right through the, the shell, and then the animal kills and eats the mollusk.